Titan. Titan is one of the moons of Saturn. Saturn has a moon? It has over 50 moons, Gorby. A moon is a natural object that goes around another object in space, usually a planet. Titan is Saturn's biggest moon, and it's the only moon that we know of with an atmosphere. An atmos? What? An atmosphere. That's a layer of gas. Doesn't Earth have a layer of gas too? It does. That's what makes it a So if an atmosphere helps things live on Earth, can things live on Titan too? Well, Gorby, a space probe that landed on Titan found rivers, mountains, and deserts. But no life. Wow! One day, I'm going on a mission to find life on a moon. Dwarf planets. Some planets in our solar system are actually dwarf planets. Those are the eight planets in our solar system. Do you know their names, Chester? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And what about these? Hmm, they look like planets too, but I've never seen them before. Those are called dwarf planets. They're just like the other planets in our solar system, in that they only orbit the sun and have a rounded shape. Look at those asteroids! This is the main difference between the other eight planets and the dwarf planets. The dwarf planets haven't cleared away the space debris around them. Debris is space objects, like asteroids, ice, and rocks. Hey, that's Pluto! Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. And it's got debris around it. So, Pluto is a dwarf planet. Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. The others are Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. So, Chester, do you think you'll be able to learn their... Pluto, Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. <laughs> Names? <laughs> I'm a fast learner. Asteroid. Asteroids are rocks floating in space. <gasps> I've never seen an asteroid before. Asteroids come in all shapes and sizes, some as small as a hippo. Like me! But where do they come from? Scientists think asteroids are just leftover pieces from when the solar system was first created. It's getting closer! When an asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it's called a meteor. And when a meteor gets even closer, it burns up, leaving a trail of bright light, which people call a shooting star. Oh, look, Gorby! There's one now! Oh, wow! It's beautiful! If you see a shooting star, you should always make a wish. Okay. What did you wish for, Gorby? To see another one! Look! My wish came true! The Moon A moon is an object in space. A moon is something that orbits another object in space, usually a planet. What does orbit mean? Orbit means goes around. Our moon is called the moon, and it goes around our planet Earth. Does it get dizzy? Don't think so, Marco. It takes 30 days for our moon to do one orbit. How did it get there? A large object, maybe another planet or maybe space material, bumped into the Earth. Watch out, Earth! Lots of pieces flew off, including one huge chunk which scientists think formed our moon. So, the moon could be a big chunk of the Earth? Could be. Wow! Moon-tastic! 
Ceres! Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to Earth. Which planet is that? That's what's known as a dwarf planet, Gorby. It's called Ceres. Ceres is the smallest dwarf planet that we know of in our solar system. I thought there were only eight planets. Are there other dwarf planets too? Yes, and you probably know the name of the most famous one. Hmm, it's Pluto. Yes, Pluto's one of the dwarf planets. In between Jupiter and Mars, there's an asteroid belt. That's where you can find Ceres. Wow, so many asteroids. Because Ceres is a dwarf planet, it still has a lot of things in its path. It must be annoying to keep bashing into things all the time. Hey, watch out! Ah! Ceres is up there right now, a dwarf planet, thumbing its way through space. <laughs>